I'm Keith Cochran. I'm a second year MASC student in the Transportation Engineering Group. I work with Matt Rorda and Amr Shalaby, and my research is investigating opportunities to use the public transit network to move goods. Essentially, this is a topic that has not been explored very much. So rather than um, performing some high level modeling and analysis, I thought that a more interesting idea would be to just generate a conversation about this among different people who would have a stake in it. So I used a method called the Delphi method, which is essentially a multi-round iterative survey process where I engaged professionals and freight and public transit and um, I did a series of surveys. Each survey was designed based on the results of the previous one. So the first survey was looking broadly at the challenges and opportunities of moving freight on transit, asking the participants open-ended questions. The second survey, I took these responses and asked them to rate different things, such as the most challenging things about integrating freight on transit, the most beneficial things, trying to find the most important issues. And in this way, we were able to have a discussion between this group of people that were not typically coming in contact with each other due to uh, geographical barriers. Um, a lot of them are in industries that wouldn't usually communicate, but by the end of it, I had the opinions of over 30 experts on this topic, and I think that because I have all their opinions, now I am the greatest expert on freight and transit integration. Combining freight and transit is difficult, but the largest reason that it's difficult is uh, is basically regulations and organizational barriers because um, you have differing goals between freight operators and transit operators. Transit operators want to uh, move people in an efficient way and they're very comfortable doing things and freight operators just want to make money and um, this is kind of in contrast with the transit operator. So in terms of opportunities for Toronto, um, Toronto's public transit network at this point is quite strained and often operating at capacity. And so until we are able to move people more efficiently, we should not be trying to move goods. But there are a number of quick wins that can be done uh, through using transit to move things other than people. I've been spending the summer with a research fellowship at Metrolinx, um, the transportation planning agency for the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, where I've been actually uh, applying my research, um, which has been very interesting. The work I'm doing at Metrolinx is investigating the possibility to make internal deliveries using buses. So rather than sending someone out in a car or a van to deliver schedules or bathroom supplies to a commuter rail station, just put that on the bus. So SEGSA is the Civil Engineering Graduate Students Association. We are there to uh, give opportunities for students to interact with each other outside of, um, outside of school, outside of class. People get kind of bogged down with school. Grad students are notoriously stressed for some reason. So we provide free food events and this seems to get them out of their shell. Uh, U of T has provided a lot of opportunities in terms of my research. I would say that uh, there's lots of opportunities for, in my department at least, a lot of opportunities for collaboration to bounce ideas off people. Um, my advisors have been very present and have given me a lot of guidance. I'm going to start a job with a transportation consulting firm called the IBI Group in September. So.